Urban Dozer with Urban Dozer Prospecting. We made no. it to Pine Creek, which goes into this river, and we are going to be getting some dirt for Clash and for myself. Hopefully, I, Zayden, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Hopefully, we will be able to find something and get going on having some dirt for. Oh, I don't think there's a trail to it down here. Oh, there's some good heavies though. I think I see a trail here. We're gonna be going down and getting some dirt from an area where there might be some gold. But I think I forgot my gloves, so I'm gonna have to go back to the vehicle to get my gloves. You can't go in unless we're in your you're with me or your mom. Trying to teach Zayden how to look for gold in a certain area. Okay, I need to grab my gloves. Is all. Ugh. Zayden, you stay off that bridge. Because it's very dangerous. Did you see where I went? In the bushes? Yeah. That's where you can go. Why but you gotta be careful because it's a sharp. Over the bridge? Because if we go over the bridge, it might crack underneath us and hurt us. We don't want that, do we? Because it's very old. It is very old. How old? So old that it's not even funny. Now, coming down to the river we got to be careful because there is a ledge down here you want to go down this way it is more safe Okay, I am going to be going by these heavies that are right over here. Yeah. And I'm going to be looking to see if I can find any gold. I'm going to be digging some dirt up in here. Now, there's a lot of branches on a willow. And that is usually where the gold can get trapped in, right here. It's a nice little area. looks like somebody's been digging out before. Because they know that tree roots... And these big rocks here, that's where the gold could be at. But I have to get a bucket before I can do anything. So, do a little video of me going back through the bush. I can't do this run across it and over there. Do Okay. First off, I will be digging this dirt. I'm sorry if you can't see me, but when we get these heavies out of here, so that way I can dig. Oh, look it over there. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Crush, I haven't gone through any of this, so it'll be a lot of plant material. And I'll try to get the big rocks out. Not small ones though. Oh yeah, this place has been cemented. Such a good place to look. Oh, that has some stuck to it. Yeah, me either. It's all about persistence, though. It's all about persistence. Not yet. 
Oh, there's a lot of heavies right here. Should have brought my metal detector. This mud could cake on to rocks, so the gold will stick to them. And if gold sticks to rocks, especially in an area where there's some big heavies like there is, You can definitely tell that there's some heavy rocks in this area and that's been built up for quite some time. So I'm going to dig out as much as I can and make as much of a dent in it as I can. Hopefully we'll find some gold. Okay, that's why I brought, this is why you always bring this tool. What tool? You always have a crowbar on you, just in case you get a stubborn rock. Like that, even though it's tiny and sandstone, it's got a lot of mud on it. Oh, there's another big one. Can't dig down very deep. Hello, John. Can I have the shovel out of the pot? Yes, go ahead and grab it. Where is it? Should be on me. Oh, found it. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Um, now, this loamy stuff, I don't know if I'm going to get any gold. Yes. But it's pretty, it looks like garden dirt. <laughs> but there's some heavy, heavy stuff right here. So I'm hoping that with this bend right here in the river, back when it was flowing, some good gold dirt got up in here. Looks like I'm gonna have to dig up next to this one rock here. Oh no. Almost thought I had a root. I hope not to get a root. Because then people get mad at me for digging. And you don't want nobody mad at you for digging. Oh yeah, you're gonna get dirty. He's a big one. Yeah. We're not on nobody's claim right here, so. But like I said, you can find magnetite in everything. Now right here, I don't know. Some of it seems right, some of it does not. I think I might dig up next to the tree on this next part. I'm taking Sample bucket. Oh. Taking the sample bucket from right here. 
where these big rocks are. And I'm gonna take a sample bucket from right here. And yes, I will dig around the root so I don't disturb the tree. Because who knows, the gold might just come right through here. That's why they call my urban dozer. Okay. Sit up, phone. Try to give you the best shot possible here. I got a lot. Oh? Dirt. Good. Can you hand me that bucket? Can you hear me that bucket? Yeah. The bucket. Hey, don't roll it to you. Don't roll it, it'll go in the river. Here, John. Bring it over, walk it over. How are you guys on the bridge? Because they walked over there. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Lady, come, come on. Come on. Here. Sorry. Can you reach it? I cannot. I need you to hurry because of my video. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to set that down in the hole. I'm not videoing you, I'm videoing myself. In a minute, I will. If I can get my phone to sit up right. Okay. I'm gonna get some dirt from right here. Some dirt that actually looks like dirt. Never know when you're caught on the bank. What could get caught right through here? I might try digging in this hole here. Pulling up my other hole. Looks like some water got pushed up in here. By some big old rocks. Look up Urban Dozer at YouTube.com. Now, I know it might not be popular if I don't get some gold coming, but we're going to be trying. That's the most what prospecting is, is you try to find some, and sometimes you get skunked. And if you get skunked, what do you do? Try and try again. Now, I'm thinking I might have to come back tomorrow and do this again some other time when I can actually get to Pine Creek. But I think this is a good area for gold, too. Even if it's muddy.
Okay. There's Aiden doing his pan. Are you squishing the mud like I taught you? Squish some mud like I told you. Okay, I'm gonna get some dirt from right here. It's a good area for gold to get pushed up in. So let the water out then. Do it. Uh, but I don't know. This is some loamy stuff like having your garden. And like one prospect is holding me. me you can't find any gold. And lonely stuff like this. So we'll go to some old mines next to find out if we have any gold. Well, I will take these two pan these two buckets home and we're gonna pan them out. And when we pan them out, hopefully we find some gold. Because they know tree roots. They like to trap the gold, especially deep underneath here. Okay, I got my two buckets full, and I don't know. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to find anything in these two buckets, but if you're going to be a prospector, you never give up. If you give up on prospecting, you give up on yourself, and that's what... The cancer battle can do too, too. I lost my glasses. I found them. All right, you guys have a great night or day, as, you know, everything is. And I will definitely do my best to... Huh, weird. One eye is looking at the camera and one eye is not. But so you guys have a good night. Down.